all of that, what all of that entails, and you're the main character representing it, what does that mean to you, and how does it feel? It's kind of, you know, it's overwhelming when you put all those things together and you think about it like that. I have to break it down in pieces because, you know, when I signed on, the material was so interesting to me. I love the character, so as an actor, I look at the character first and foremost. And then as I start to talk to the showrunner, he collaborates on his vision, then it starts to open up. You talk about the musical aspect. First thing he mentioned to me was Wu-Tang Clan. He talked about, like, whoa, stop right there, you got me. Because it, it was specific. He had a very specific world he wanted to create. And he started talking to me about, you know, legitimately the ground we would be breaking with this character and what it would mean. I mean, sure, we knew about some of the stuff that was happening in society, you know, there's Black Lives Matter bubbling up, that kind of stuff, but we had to kind of stay focused and kind of work in a bubble. Um, it's coincidence, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we did, I mean, obviously we wrapped six months ago, and here we are six months later, and, and, and it's a fever pitch of society for, for change, and here we are at the precipice of something new and different, and I think people are ready for something like this, and I hope it brings them some, some sense of joy and, and and a feeling of, you know, cathartic release of some sort. So, Boo Cage, he shows feats of incredible strength and vulnerability. Yeah. For you, what was the stunt quality like? Were you doing your own stunts? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, the thing people know about stunts is when you talk about, like, disguising uh, the actor for the stunts, most of the times the actors have hair. So you can put a, <laughs> you can put a wig on them, and you can kind of, like, you can turn, you can, all you see is a hair, you see, the, like, the plant looks like them. You get, the first thing to do is dye the stunt guy's hair the same color as the other person. I have a bald head. So you have to get someone who's the same height, same, it's very difficult. I have a good stunt guy, and he, you know, he does a lot for me. 10% of what, I mean, when it comes down to stunts, unless it's going to really be something dangerous, I pretty much do it myself. So, yeah, I get hurt sometimes, and I, and I get tired, but that's that's kind of what it is. You know, we, we, we do the best we can, but it's hey, I do a lot more stunts than I, than I want to, I'll tell you that. Right. You kind yeah. of wish that you actually had the invulnerability that I kind of wish had. I did, yeah, that'd be nice. Finally, put into words what Luke Cage means to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and what his representation is. I think it kind of starts to change the conversation with Marvel Universe. I know people enjoy Marvel Universe globally, and I think people understand that it is a place of escapism. It's a place that people can go to kind of just take their mind off the real world. But I think somehow, I think Luke Cage has done something unique in the fact that it not only gives him a little bit of escape, escapism, but it also dials in some real-life issues now. Because, you know, before it's like maybe you could relate to characters in a, in a kind of abstract way, but this is some real stuff that we're dealing with here, and it's, I think it resonates with people on a really, really intimate level. So I think this maybe changes the conversation as far as Marvel being a more serious, more, you know, dialed in to the, to the politics and society, and I feel like it's, it's only going to improve. I mean, we have some more things on the slate, obviously. Um, if we're lucky and we get a second season, I'd be happy to do it. And, um, if, you know, we just have to take it one day at a time. But I really think this is something that, uh, that will improve everything for everybody. So I'm looking forward to getting response from it.